Welcome back everybody to the Microburst 600 side-by-side -side build. So this episode I need to make some hub adapters so that I can go from the Polaris 4 bolt pattern over to this uh, 15 inch rim that I have which is a, a 5 bolt pattern. So in order to do that I have this big chunk of aluminum set up on my lathe and uh, I'm going to start machining that thing and then I'll uh, put it over onto my mill on my rotary table and then I'll uh, cut the correct bolt patterns in for that guy. Alright, so i got a lot of turnings to do first and then uh, we'll put it over on the mill. Probably one of my least favorite jobs on the lathe this is parting off, but uh, you get a lot of chatter. And... Anyway, I got one parted off, so uh, I'll have to put it back on and face it just to make sure it's nice and, and uh, perfectly flat. So, two more cuts, and that'll give me the uh, four slices that I need. So, I'll keep going with that there. It just occurred to me that uh, I could probably, you know, snug this thing up if I could, uh, if I could only get the tailstock on there. So I, I just took this big block of aluminum that I had and uh, I uh, snug that on in there. And now I can actually, uh, I can just power feed into this thing. Let's throw the power feed on. A little lube. It's coming. So it's feeding in pretty slow. Still get a lot of chatter. You know, it squeaks a lot, but look at that. That's going a lot better. This will make the job a lot easier. Okay, I've got uh, two of the blanks uh, parted off. The other ones are uh, sitting over here. I ended up snapping the uh, the part off tool. So uh, <clears throat> I took the whole chuck and everything right off and left it mounted in. That way there I don't have to, um, I don't have to zero that back out. So it's exactly the way we left it. So I've got my three jaw chuck in. I have this guy mounted. What I'm gonna do is uh, face this side here and I have to bring it back down to got to get this to one inch so it's at uh, you take off about 96 thou get that down to one inch I'll do the same and then we can get it over to the mill
that supposed to be an inch? Yeah, bang on. All right, one last thing I need to do before I get these guys on the mill is uh, I need to cut an angle on this, and that's because the uh, you see here this guy is angled, so I need to basically add a recess in there so that that will be able to fit in all the way. So I'll cut that, and then it really is over the mill now after that. Okay. Okay, I finally got this thing in the rotary table on the mill, and uh, it just barely fits on here. See, I have a clamp, it's not the best, but it's good enough to hold it. So I have this thing set up, it's already zeroed off, and I've moved it out the, uh, the correct radius. So it's a um, four and a half inch bolt circle, uh, five bolts, so I'm out uh, two, and, two and a quarter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come around, so every 72 degrees, I'm gonna drill a hole. Um, and then I'll uh, I'll countersink it so when I press the nut in it will basically countersink in there for the clearance and then I'll flip it over and then I'll drill the other bolt pattern for the razor which is a, a 4 on a 156 millimeter and then I'll uh, I can press those studs in and I'll have it all done all right I'm gonna get drilling and uh, shouldn't take too long to finish this thing up I just finished machining these guys and uh, this is what they turned out looking like pretty nice now I've already pressed the uh, the wheel studs into this one as you can see that's how they uh, it'd get pressed in on that side and then what you do is you uh, this would then slide right over the hub Let's see if I can get this here it's a snug fit okay right and then you just uh, basically mount Mount that uh, the player's hub onto that by screwing those those on, and there you go. That's your assembled assembled uh, hub there with the adapter, and then from there, basically that would. Uh, well, I can't do this with with my hand, but you get the idea, right? That would go right on there, and that's that. So something like that, folks. Get the idea. All right, turned out real good. Okay, I just kind of threw it on there. Everything's real loose, nothing's tightened down, but just wanted to give you an idea of what this thing's gonna look like on there. That's pretty sharp. And those tires are big. They're kind of the front view. Yeah, that's gonna look real nice. Excellent. Ooh, might fall off on me. All right. Well, that's it for this episode, folks. Uh, so thanks for thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you tune in next time. I have all the pieces done now that I want to do ahead of time. All the mill and lathe work for the most part is done. 
So next up, I'm actually going to start tackling the frame. So in the next episode, we're going to get the base and probably the midsection laid down and then start looking at how we can start adding the controls like the, the shifters, the pedals, uh, the steering wheel, the seats, start looking at all that kind of stuff. All right, thanks for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe to these videos, uh, leave a comment and uh, hit the like button. All right, thanks for watching.